The thug is in. <clears throat> What's up, guys? This is Logan, also known as Alex Shin Pokemon Showdown. And I have a new record of myself, 105. I'm a little nervous right now. I'm not going to lie. I'm trying to calm down a little bit because... I need to win 15 more matches and I have a world record. That means I gotta beat this, which is round 16. I gotta beat round 17 and then just win one battle in round 18. But right now we're gonna focus on what we can control and what we control is round 16. Let's do this. Let's get some good mods. Let's get something really good. We're gonna think through everything. We got this, come on, let's go. Okay, let me get my let me get my notes out. Let me pause this real quick. Okay, slow and steady. There is no type. Slow and steady. All right, let's see what our draft is. This is gonna determine a lot. Let's get some good mons. Okay, hey, I'd take Amnesia, Rock Slide, Wish Cash. I'll take that here. Okay, you know what? That's not the worst thing in the world. Let's get some good mons, come on, man. All right, that's whatever, honestly. That's pretty bad. That's really bad. Okay, okay. We got Rest Talk Red Ice. I'll take that. I'll take that. Could be a good mon. Come on. Okay. Uh, not the best looking draft, you guys. All right, not the best looking draft. Okay, let me think about this. This is tough. Alright you guys, so I thought about this for a while. This is a pretty tough draft. Um, here's what I'm going to go with. The the main four mons, obviously, I could have chosen from our Whiskash, Registeel, Regice, and I'd say Venusaur. Um, this Grand Bull is max special attack, max HP. It's just not usable. Um, doesn't have any attack investment. It's slow. Not good. Cradley just has too many weaknesses and not enough power to back it up or longevity. So here's what we're going with. We're going with we go Reg Ice is the star of the team, which is why I am focusing on how do I build around this Reg Ice, right? And Whiskash just has the best resistances for Reg Ice. It resists fire, it resists rock, and it resists steel. Specifically, like from maybe like a Metagross. And steel is really frustrating for this team to face because of the fact that my Reggie Steel's only attacking move is, well, its main wheel way of dealing damage is gonna be toxic. And so I am actually going to use Registeel over Venusaur. My team is a bit weaker to fighting types now, like really weak to fighting types, but because the first opponent is slow and steady, fighting types aren't as often going to come out. And I just think Registeel offers me way, just many more resistances for the team that um, Regice and Whiskash don't already have, such as like Normal is a big one, um, Psychic, uh, pfft, Ghost, Dark, um, just a lot of different moves, you know what I mean? Grass, I mean, even though Regice destroys grass types, it's still just good to have this. And you know what? Maybe a Toxic set can put in work. I mean, Toxic is a great move, and I can set up double teams and substitute on stuff. I could see this winning games. Um, and the reason that I'm going to be leading Regice instead of leading Whiskash is Whiskash is a lot more important defensively speaking. If I lead Whiskash and I trade and it's at low health and a fighting type or a fire type comes in the back, I can just lose the game because I have Regice and Registeel to handle it, which is why I'm going to lead Regice. And, you know, bolt beam coverage right off the get-go is cool. Oh, man, this is stressful. Well, let's do this, man. Wish cash on the Regis. My bad. I forgot to, like, show that I was accepting it. Um, here we go. Meganium lead. Perfect. We love this. We literally love this. This is likely to be that double team set, I believe. Does this look good on the, the recording? Yeah. Uh, what if I just automatically hide? Does this look better for you guys? Yeah, I think it does. Um, so we're going to go Meganium here. Okay, very likely, I mean, ab absurdly likely to be Meganium 2, which has two slow and steady moves. Leech Seed Substitute Double Team Grass Whistle. Um, so let's go to Meganium 2. That's 3 IV Meganium 2 versus a Reg Ice. Do I, I don't outpace it, but I am very likely to kill it with Ice Beam. There is no other play here. Um, I'm just going to Ice Beam. Okay, Double Team, whatever. Let's hit. Nice hit. Freeze. Okay. Oh, wait. What does it have? Oh, it has lefties, right? Huh. 
Do I ever go Registeel and try to set up here? That's kind of a cute play, isn't it? Do I need to risk it? No. But do I want to? I mean, yeah, because what's the worst? Is it double teams? Is this a stupid risk? I'm gonna I'm gonna think about capitalizing on this. Hold on a second. Alright, so I decided that while I could make that greedy move, um, it's not really necessary to, as worst case scenario, this Meganium could wake up, leech seed, dodge a focus punch, get a sub up, and things could start to go really annoying. So I'm just gonna ice beam while I can. Ha! Look! See? I knew it. See? Look at that. I mean, I made the right play. Unfortunately, they thawed and leeched, which is really annoying, actually. Charizard. Alright. Um, this is fine. So let's see what the Charizard set is most likely going to be. So we know for a fact that that was Meganium 2. So Charizard. Hopefully this is a good Charizard, because we might actually just take this Charizard. We're, we're really hoping for, like, I guess Charizard 4, maybe? Charizard 4 would be cool, because it resists fighting, and it also resists... Fire, which is like really big for our team, and it's a ground resist, which we don't have. Ooh, that'd be nice. But either way, nothing scares me. I'm going Whiskash, pretty simply. Like, I guess Sunny Day's a little bit scary. But yeah, let's go, let's go Whiskash here. Okay, it is DD, so it's DD Aerial Ace Earthquake. Let's run this in the Calc. Whiskash 4. It's Charizard 2 at plus 1. Does how much to Whiskash? Wow, that does way too much. Thankfully, Surf kills this, so that's what we're going to click. Okay. No crit. All right. Yeah, Whiskash feels like I'm playing weird. Starmie. Okay, okay, hold on. Starmie could be really good here. If we can... I think we might pick up a Starmie if we can. Starmie? So what... Let's see, that's Charizard... So let's see what, what kind of Starmies this can be. Hold on, let me... Let me clear this style search. Clear filter from style. It's going to bring up all the Pokemon. Let's go Starmie here. Okay. So that first game was lefties. So it's not going to be Starmie 6, which is whatever, because that sets whatever. So it's not lefties. It also can't be Bright Powder Starmie. So that unfortunately does eliminate Starmie 7, 8. So it can't be 7, 8, 9. Would anything else activate Meganium 2... Meganium 2 has a 6 move. Charizard doesn't have any of that. Um, are there any Starmies that would activate anything? No, there isn't. So this could be Starmies 1 through 5. And all of them I'm pretty fine with. I mean, like, I'm just gonna... None of them can really set up on me. I just got an Earthquake here and see what happens. It's, maybe we'll get a Quick Claw. Alright, I'm at 104... 116, 104 to 116. Maybe we can suss this out in the calc. Let's see, 104 to 116. 104 to 116, so that's 104. The 16, so that's 56%. The 8, so that's 48% damage that this did. So, could be Starmie 1. Right? 48% damage. Right? 48% damage, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 40 wait. 48% damage, I think that I think that's right. Should have wrote that down, whatever. 48% damage. So can't be Starmie 3. Could be Starmie. It could be Starmie 3, I mean. Can't be Starmie 2. I mean Starmie 3 and Starmie 4 would be beautiful. I mean they're just great sets with Psychic. Oh, let's hope it can, clicks like recover or something. We would love to see that. I mean like. We would love to see that. Huh. How much did we do to it? I don't know. We did a lot. Either way, I'm going to click Earthquake. Maybe I get a Quick Claw. Okay, I do get a Quick Claw. In a way, I almost wanted to switch to Red Ace. Maybe I should have scouted that. Hmm. It didn't get Shell Bell, actually, so it can't be one or two. It has to be three, four, or five, I guess. Okay, Starmie 3, 4, 5. That, that's really good, honestly. 
Okay. Let's go on to our second opponent. No clear favorite. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna swap probably. We're gonna swap. Let's think about this. Okay, so amazingly, <clears throat> I am very confident that because because I'm pretty sure I didn't see shell bell recovery. Like, I, yeah, I, I don't, I, I didn't see shell bell recovery. So that means that it has to be Starmie 3, 4, or 5. It can't be Starmie 6. So, and because I feel like there's a good chance it would have clicked maybe light screen, I feel like it's going to be one of these really good Starmies. It's one of these amazing Starmies. And so we're just going to take it. And we're going to swap it for Whiskash. The main reason is that while Whiskash is cool, Registeel already gives me a rock and a steel resist, but now Starmie gives me still that fire resist, but it also gives me a water resist, and most importantly, a fighting resist, which is huge. It's fast. Whiskash is always whatever anyway. We're swapping for that Starmie. And this is no type, no phrase, battle two. Let's get it. I should be right. There's no way I saw Shell Bell. There's no way I saw Shell Bell. Did it try to intimidate? Doesn't matter, but... <gasps> Hmm. Well, this is bad as hell. Um, this is really bad. I thought I didn't see Shell Bell. I thought I didn't see Shell Bell. Well, that was stupid as hell. I'm realizing that I didn't see Shell Bell because it was at full health. Oh, wow, that's like, that's actually terrible. Um, I mean, it's not the worst Starmie in the world. It's just not, oh my God, that's so bad actually. That's like, that's so bad, I can't even. Okay, whatever though, it's still a Starmie. It still has defensive properties. Oh, that's that's like, so, I can't even describe how bad that is. That's like incredibly bad. And now we're facing off against an Arcanine. This is like, I, I mean, this is just, this is just terrible. I don't even know what to say. This is just terrible. This is like really terrible right now. Um, okay, so it can't be Arcanine 4, it has to be Arcanine 3, 2, or 1. They all have Crunch, which is absolutely terrible. Um, Starmy one. Wow, this is like the worst thing ever. I need to pause and holy crap. <sighs> that was like, that's such an incredible mistake. I don't even know what to say. Um, that's an incredible mistake. Okay. Crunch actually doesn't do that much unless it's, if it's, if it's Arcanine two, that's really bad. Oh, it's so bad. That's so bad. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say to that. I really don't. Um... Mm. I don't even know what to say. That's like, that's so terrible. I could technically rest turn one, I guess. And this is like the worst lead ever because this Starmie is so cheeks. Oh my God, help me. Oh my God. Okay, well, Arcanine 1 actually does nothing to this Regice. Arcanine 3 does a chunk. Arcanine 3 is obviously the worst position that I could be in because of White Herb. Um, but actually, let's see. If this is at... If this is at minus 2 eventually, does it kill? Yeah, it does. It would kill my Regice. Okay. Um... I mean, this is such a mistake. I don't even know what to say. This is such a mistake. This is such a stupid mistake that I made. If I knew that it was Starmie One, I wouldn't have taken it. I would have kept. I would have kept Whiskash. Oh my God! What a mistake. Okay. Um. Let me actually pause again. 
All right, so after way too much thinking, this is the play. So it's gonna be Arcanine 1, I don't care about. Arcanine 1 is garbage and doesn't do anything to me. Like, it just doesn't do anything to me. Flamethrower doing that much is terrible. Um, Arcanine 2 will get back to you. If it's Arcanine 3, which it very well could be, but it is a little bit less likely to because I think high risk, high return is very easy to activate. Um, but, you know, it could still... And also, man, should I rethink this? Either way, if it overheats turn one, this is an overheat, right? I can rest up on this overheat. Then it overheats again at this power because of White Herb. I rest up again. And then it's at minus two. Overheat does 30 to 36. It's not doing a lot. Minus four, it's not doing a lot. It's not going to three hit KO me ever. It's not going to three hit KO me. And it could miss. And then I rest up and then I'm walling this thing and I can slowly chip it down. If it's Arcanine 2, where that's a little bit of a predicament because um, if they Sunny Day turn 1 and they get a Sun Boosted Fire Blast, thankfully I still live and I can just T-Bolt it um, and then I go Starmie and I just try to Psychic it and but then, you know, I'm obviously down one and a half Pokemon and they have two left and my Registeel isn't like the best thing in the world. So that is pretty scary. It is pretty scary. Um, but now that I'm really thinking about it, hold on, I'm thinking about the fact that High Risk... So even though it could a lot more likely be Arcanine 1 or 2, especially 1 because it doesn't have a phrase activating move. It's time to rest. This is a tough matchup. Let's just see what happens. I'm going to rest here. It's Arcanine 1. It's Arcanine 1. It's not going to crit. Beautiful. This is amazing. Okay. We love to see this. Okay. So because it's Arcanine 1, Let's go Arcanine 1. We kind of technically actually wanted Arcanine... We technically wanted Arcanine 3. I guess that's technically optimal. But if we go to this... Yeah, Crunch doesn't even... To a KO. We could do funny stuff with this. I'm going to think about how... If I can manipulate Arcanine 1. Okay, so Arcanine 1 is not the worst thing in the world. But what this does mean that we're going to do... Is... So we're going to... We're going to eat this... We're going to eat this Flamethrower. We're going to Thunderbolt this with with Regice 1. I mean, with Regice 6. We're just going to eat this Flamethrower. It's not doing that much. 27.2 to 32. That's not doing a lot. We can Thunderbolt it, and then I can pivot into Starmie and Psychic it. The only reason that I'm not pivoting into Starmie right now is that Starmie could take a... Um, it could get Flamethrowered and then Crunched twice or some E-Speed stuff, and we don't want that. So, um, ooh, I actually should check, does Starmie ever drop to something like, I actually should check this, does Starmie 1 ever drop the Flamethrower to Crunch into E-Speed? Oh my god, does it actually? No, I don't think it, well, it doesn't matter, it's, I'm faster than it. It doesn't matter. Or, like, I, I'm not faster than it, but whatever, I'm overthinking it. Let's just do this. Let's Thunderbolt. Let's hope for no King's Rock anything, please, no crits. Okay, let's get a Paralysis. That'd be sick. Okay, whatever. Now we do just go to Starmie. And I can confirm I do kill with Psychic. Okay. I could also Resto Chesto here. That's an interesting idea. Do I ever do that? Is that dumb? What I'm now considering is do I actually just rest... Do I actually just rest on this Arcanine here? Or I could, I could actually just, I could, yeah, I could, technically I could Ice Beam and then rest and just click Sleep Talk. This is something that I could very well do. This is an interesting idea, right? Do I like this idea though? Or am I fine with Starmie eating, or am I fine with Starmie eating a Flamethrower into a Crunch? Which is going to put it at pretty low health. Ugh. <sighs> I think I'm going to go Starmie. I think that's the play I'm making. See what it clicks. Flamethrower. No burn, please. Okay. Now we're just going to Psychic it. Crunch. Won't kill. Alright. Psychic kills. Okay. Shell Bell. We're at 65 health with Starmie. Oh my god. No way an Electabuzz comes out. What? That's nightmarish. Okay, I guess. I mean, pfft. Electabuzz, man? 
Okay, well, let's see what Electabuzz has to offer. Um, so it can't be King. So so it can't be King's Rock. All pretty much all of them are faster. Let's see, Electabuzz one. I am faster than, and I can Psychic it. Uh, I don't want anything to take huge damage from this. Focus Punch would be nightmarish. Rain Dance would be crazy. I mean, surely my play is just to go Reg Ice here. I don't. I don't think there's another play besides going Reg Ice. Because I mean, I could stay in, but it just seems like I don't. I don't need to stay in, right? Thunderbolt, Brick Break. Okay. Right. Um. Let's see. What if it's like Red? What if it's Electabuzz Two? Electabuzz Two would click Thunder. So I'm not really scared of that. Thunder does nothing to my Reg Ice, and then I would just Ice Beam it because it would probably try to Focus Punch. Um, Electabuzz 3 would also be really scary, actually. Electabuzz 3, that's pretty terrifying. And it outpaces me right now and destroys my Starmie. Hmm. Does my Reg Ice kill? Oh, it doesn't even kill Electabuzz. Okay. I'm also wondering, is it a play to ever just go into, um... Is it ever a play to just go into... Wait, do I outpace most of the Electabuzzes, actually? Electabuzz 4? Wait, what? Do I outpace most of these? Oh, I do actually outpace most of these Electabuzzes. Huh, the only Electabuzz that outpaces me is Electabuzz 3. So actually, and, and, so actually, I think I just Psychic here. I think I just Psychic, and I stay in and I Psychic. Yeah, I'm just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Psychic. Let's hope I'm faster. Of course it's the fast Electabuzz. That's hilarious. That's like the worst possible Electabuzz 2. Okay. <laughs> of course it's fucking Electabuzz 3. That's insane. That's a, that's a, that's a 25% chance here. Unreal, man, that it's- that it's Electabuzz 3. Oh my fucking god. So Crosstop has a good chance to KO. I hate that it has a crit chance. It has Lumberry. Do I ever go Registeel 6 here? Or 5? Hmm, they actually do nothing. Wow, they actually do nothing to me. I could. I could actually just go Registeel here. That's an interesting play. Because I know it- I, Oh, but they have Lum. That's so annoying, actually. So they could actually pressure me pretty hard. Ugh. I mean, I've gotta- I just gotta go Regice and just Sleep Talk, right? Rest Sleep Talk, I think. Let me think about this. I feel like that's the play. Yeah, I think the play here is clearly to go Reg Ice and just start Resto Chestoing. So Reg Ice is at 71. So Cross Chop could only threaten me. So I'm going to rest here, of course. Okay, miss the Cross Chop. That's pretty good for us. Now it's Sleep Talk time. Okay, they hit. No crits, please. Okay. Let's get an Ice Beam. No rest, please. Oh my god, come on, man. Of course you hit it again. Of course. Paralyze? Well, it has a lum. Oh, that's unreal. Unreal, man. I don't even, like... I'm at 64 health right now. Please miss. Oh, it has a... 37% chance to Oko here. It could miss. Let's miss. Come on. Oh, don't kill me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm literally gonna lose. I'm literally gonna lose to a fucking Electabuzz. Okay. This is so fucking annoying, man. I'm I'm really annoyed right now. Okay. So I've got a double team. Uh, yeah, I just gotta double team up, man. I've gotta double team the fuck up. Uh, that's that's obviously my play here. I gotta double team. I can't focus punch. Sub does nothing. Just time to double team. Go for fire punch, okay. Nothing stupid. Okay, we're at plus one. Um, I think I go for the kill and I focus punch here, right? I think that's the play. Or do I double team again? 
So right now my Reggie steal is at 140. I don't think I get and I think I think I just go for a miss here, right? <sighs> what if I double team again though? I got a lot to consider here. I got a lot to consider. I'm really thinking about did I need to uh, I mean did I need to like just ice beam it twice with with Reg Ice knowing the threat of Electabuzz? Was that my misplay? I feel like it wasn't that much of a misplay. Cross Chop had not a super high chance to 3 a KO. He had to hit three of them. Like, come on, man. Oh, fuck. I hate how much Fire Punch does here. Fire Punch is actually likely to not break the sub, plus me having... Okay, it's technically... Yeah, I'm just gonna sub. I think I have to sub. That's how I win. I think I have to sub. I'm deciding that I have to sub. That's not hit. Thunderbolted? Weird. Don't paralyze. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So now I think... Uh, I don't know what I do now, man. Uh, I don't know what I do now. I think I have one clear move. They have to miss. Or they have to not break my sub. I'm hoping for one of them. Static is so annoying here because I'm likely to get staticked. Uh, let's do this. Of course you hit the cross chop. You're so bad. No static? Okay, come on. Breloom? Hold. Hold, 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 hold. Fucking Breloom. All right, you guys. This isn't as bad as it looks. Um, I have plus one evasion. Uh, focus punch, two it KOs any Breloom that I could face. Uh, they have to focus punch and hit the Registeel behind the sub, so they still have to hit a focus punch. I then realized that because all of these Breylooms, their main attacking move is focus punch. I mean, they could, I guess, spore, which would be annoying, actually. That could just win them the game. Either way, I still sub, and I fish for a miss from spore or focus punch. Um... Right, and Focus Punch does have accuracy, pretty sure. Yeah, it has accuracy. So I just need to, f I can fish for a miss. I can fish for a miss and then I can sub and then I can Focus Punch again. So, um, yeah. I'm chilling. I'm chilling, I think. What's also insane here is that it's actually better that I had Registeel in versus this instead of a Reg Ice, as I probably would have lost. That's actually pretty amazing. All right, let's just focus punch. Let's do this. Yep, I'm tightening my focus as well. Do they hit? Okay, they hit. That's unfortunate, but whatever. The substitute took the damage. Let's get a crit or something. Crit, maybe? Okay, it is the leftovers Breloom. I have leftovers too, though. Okay. I got a I got a sub here. I can guarantee it's sub here. Um, I got to dodge a spore. That's just sub. Let's do this. They're tightening again. Let's get that. Let's get that miss, please. Okay, they hit. That's really bad. Pretty sure I can't make a sub, but I'm just gonna pause to make sure. So astonishingly, this Breloom has hit two focus punches, which is terrible. I need it to miss a focus punch. I am going to go for the sub here because again, this is Breloom 2. I mean, they could, I guess, try to iron tail me, which would be like the worst thing ever. I don't think they would ever iron tail me. They're going to go for focus punch. They could try to spore me here, but either way, um, I've got a sub. I've got a sub. And so that's what I'm going to do as they probably focus punch. All right, here we go. Okay, come on, miss. Miss! Miss, please! Please miss. Come on. Yes! Yes! Okay, now I should kill. I should kill. I should kill. Come on, little Reggie Steel. Oh, my God. Miss again, just for fun, Zs. Okay, come on. This should kill. Pretty sure this should kill. There's no way this doesn't kill. No way this doesn't kill. 
Oh my fucking god. Holy shit, how did I win that? Oh my god, how did I win that? I can't even put that into words. Um, amazing. Amazing. My girlfriend said it best. Okay. No clear favorites. High risk, high return. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Battle three. High risk, high return. I don't think we're swapping anything. I don't think swapping anything makes sense. We can't swap the God Reggie Steel now. We can't. Oh, we can't do that. We can't do that to Reggie Steel. Okay. So for a second, I did consider swapping Starmie for Electabuzz 3 because it is a really good set. However, I just think that the defensive utility that Starmie brings to me right now is a fighting and, most importantly, fire resist. I can't swap anything. No type, high risk, high return. Let's do this. Come on. Unreal. Unreal that that Starmie, that that, that Registeel won. Dedrio. D turn one, Dedrio. We... Oh, this is actually scary because it could... It's actually never, ever going to endure turn one. Oh, wait, wait. No, wait. This is just Registeel time. Oh, my God. This is just Registeel time. It's time for Registeel to do Registeel stuff and just absolutely destroy everything, right? Because let's just say this is most likely... Let's say this is Dodrio 4 is the most likely, right? Oh, my God. I go Registeel and Registeel clicks buttons. <laughs> Does anything from Dodrio break a sub? No, not on Dodrio 1. Dodrio 2, a double edge doesn't even break a sub. Oh, beautiful. All right. Easiest Reggie Steel of my life. It was fun. It really was fun. Drill Peck? What does that tell us? It tells us nothing as every single set has Drill Peck. Okay. But now, I'm going to click sub. It's going to keep trying to Drill Peck me. I'm subbing. All right. Double teaming. It's Drill Pecking. Not very effective. I'm going to double team. Um, I like double teaming again. Facade, it's gonna break it this time. I should maybe think about this more. I oh wow, it didn't break. It's double team. It's tri -tech. Oh no, it is the drill four. It is the drill four. It is the drill four. Okay, so the drill four does like no damage to me. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I'm just gonna double team again. Okay, now it'll break, sure. But I'm gonna double team again, and it's very unlikely to hit me actually, which is so funny. We're subbing. Why does it keep hitting me though? That's 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 a little bit problematic. Why does it keep hitting me? It should not be hitting me this often. I could two it with focus punch right now. It shouldn't be hitting me. I feel like I can just keep setting up. Is that is that what's the risk reward here, right? I'm at plus three evasion. I think the reward is great, actually. I think the reward is worth it. I think it's very worth it to just keep double teaming. Of course you hit. I don't understand how this keeps hitting. That's just insane. How does this keep hitting? Oh my gosh! What? How does this hitting every time? Unreal! These are my last double team. Thank you! Thank you for that miss. Alright. Now, I actually like clicking Substitute in case it hits here. Of course it hits, because this Dedrio just has 100% accuracy somehow. Now I'm going to Substitute, and now I'm going to Focus Punch twice. Now I'm going to focus punch twice um, because it kills. And I like having a register behind this. Yeah, this is what we're going to do. Actually, I kind of want to toxic. I want to focus punch and then toxic is what I want to do. Okay, tightening its focus. Nice miss. Bonk. All right. Now, well, it could endure here. Hmm. Does a flail break my sub? Probably, right? Yeah, it definitely does. So do I actually Toxic on the Endure? Is that a funny play? I'm gonna do that. It's likely to Endure. Nice play by me. Oh, wait, I just gave it a Facade. I just gave it Boosted Facade. That wasn't the smartest thing in the world. Wait, no, actually, I can still just, uh, I can Focus Punch here now. And I'm healing lefties. This is beautiful. Yeah, I just Focus Punch again. Pretty simple. Let's see if it tries to Endure. Nice. Beautiful. Goodbye. Now we got a plus six evasion Reggie Steel. Here comes Flareon. So I actually don't care. I actually don't care about this. Okay. So.
Flareon can be any of these. How much do I care about any Flareon? I mean, like, Flareon's gonna, what, flamethrower me? I can just focus punch this for free. I also like the idea of clicking Toxic on it. My mons actually don't like facing this. Hmm. Hmm. Wow, it's barely faster than my Pokemon. Can I revenge this with Starmie if things get... If things come to it? Let's see, how much does 3 IV Starmie do to, like, let's just say Flareon 1? Okay. So I kind of like the idea of focus punching here, just focus punching twice. I think that's clean. I think that's clean. I think that's what we gotta do. Yeah, so let's just do that. Let's just focus punch this. Let's see how much we do. Tightening its focus. Overheat misses. Beautiful. We love seeing the overheat miss. That guarantees... Well, it, mm, well, let's see. It doesn't actually tell us... Okay, so now I think I just focus punch again. I think that's pretty simple, and hopefully it misses. Okay, Double Edge isn't going to break it. Pretty sure it doesn't. <laughs> nice, dude. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this Registeel right now. I can't believe this Registeel. Latios? <sighs> we could figure out what this Latios is and maybe we can get a god tier Latios. Okay. Another thing too is I can actually, I think I can figure out the HP of this Latios. Well, hold on. So we know this is overheat, double edge. So it can't be Quick Claw. So it can't be Latios 2, which is unfortunate because that's a good Latios. We knew that Dedrio was Salic Berry. I don't think there's any Salic Berries on here. 474. Four, okay, so 474. So this would... If any of them, none of them have a 7 move, so it can't be any of those. Okay. Alright. So I'm just gonna Toxic. I think that's obviously the pretty simple play. Just Toxic, see what's up. Oh, it's the Garbage Reflect Latias. I'm not taking that garbage. I mean, I could. Is that just, like, a better Starmie? That's it. I mean... There's no way. My Starmie has recovery. It can't be a better Starmie. There's just no way. There's just no way. Right? Because only one has Reflect? Yeah. Huh. I'm just gonna Focus Punch this thing. Missed Ball Attack. Missed. Bonk. This is kind of funny, because what if I led with this? I mean, this is kind of a funny lead, I'm not going to lie. Hello, considering this right now. I'm definitely going to pause and think about this. Okay, now my sub has to be gone. Okay, Toxic should kill it. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna think about this. I'm gonna think about this. So first I'm gonna see what the next trainer is doing, and then I'll make a decision from there. No clear favorite. Okay, so that doesn't tell me anything. Okay, back to thinking. Alright, so after... I thought for way too long. I just think that swapping Starmie for the Latias 5, which is... Or Latias 4, I mean, which is Mist Ball, Shadow Ball, Charm, Reflect. I like that Latias can set up Reflect or Charm to help with Registeel. The thing that I just don't like about it, though, is that I think Starmie's Psychic does more, a lot more damage. 151 Special Attack, Psychic base 90 compared to Mist Ball base 70, 137 Attack. I just feel like that's good. Even though Mist Ball can lower the opponent's Special Attack 50% of the time, I just think that Confuse Ray and T-Wave overall are better moves than Charm and Reflect. They do more things for the team. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going with. I'm going to keep Starmie. So let's run it, and let's see what we have next. Hopefully nothing stupid like a Snorlax. That'd be nice. I probably jinxed it. Don't lead Snorlax. Donphan! Okay, we're fine with this. Super fine with Donphan, actually. Super fine with Donphan. I just click Red Ice here every time. I don't think Donphan ever outpaces me. It does not. It does not. Ooh, that one does actually. Okay, so I guess like Donphan too, but it's never going to click indoor turn one. Just gotta hope for no uh, Quick Claw Fissure stuff, unless it actually can't be that set. Actually, let's look at Donphan. I mean, I'm obviously gonna click Ice Beam every time, but I'm just kind of looking. 
And so it's likely to be the garbage Don fan one, but either way, my play remains the same. It is Ice Beam turn one. Ooh, they got a Quick Claw Iron Tail. That's terrible. Okay. So that makes sense. That's really bad. Okay. Cradley's up next, though. Ha! Garbage ass Cradley. We love seeing garbage ass Cradley because it's garbage ass Cradley. We love seeing that. All right. Now, Red Ice is at 73 right now. So that's Quick Claw. So it can't be Cradley 4. It has to be Cradley 1, 2, or 3, or else it would have activated High Risk, High Reward. Um, do any of these Cradleys even threaten me? Like, what does Cradley 1 do? Let's see what Cradley 1 does. Okay, Rock Slide actually has a chance to kill me, but I could just Resto Chesto, um, which I kind of like that idea. Cradley could also be that terrible Sunny Day Solar Beam set. Could also Swagger me, that would be annoying. Um, Ancient Power on Cradley 2 is actually a threat. Actually, did we win? No, oh, nice. Anyway, Cradley 2. Ancient power would be annoying, but we are likely... We outpace and we can kill with Ice Beam. Unless, of course, they get an Omni Boost. Um, either way, my play remains the same. It is just to go Resto Chesto. It's Resto Chesto. Reg Ice time. We went... We, cl we clicked Rest. Don't be Ancient Power. That'd be kind of scary. It is... Don't get a boost. Okay. That did a lot. That had to be Max Roll, right? That's Max Roll, I'm pretty sure. Well, no, it's not max roll, but okay. Either way, I'm clicking Ice Beam. Could I actually use this as an opportunity to set something up? Now that I think about it, technically, actually, could I go Registeel here? We always got to think about, can I go Registeel here? No, Earthquake does a lot to Registeel, but I outpace it. Is that worth it, though? I don't think it's worth it, because they can... Yeah, it's not worth it. It's not worth taking that damage. I mean, I could outpace and just Toxic it, but then I don't like the fact that... Yeah, no, I, I don't need to risk it. I have so many Mons in the back, I don't need to risk this. I'm just going to Ice Beam, and then I'm going to uh, Revenge with Starmie. That's just Ice Beam. We can even kill here, which is neat. Oh, we get it. We get the roll. That was a 31% roll. Oh, it's Arcanine in the back. I remember you. Okay. So it's Ancient Power. So we remember Arcanine. Arcanine almost ended our run. We don't like Arcanine because of that. Okay. So it can't be... It can't be Arcanine 4, of course. So it could be 3, 2, or 1... Um, well, I died to pretty much everything here, so I'm just gonna T-Bolt. Yeah, I just T-Bolt here. Actually, this could actually 1v1 me right now. That's actually kind of scary. Right? Wait. Hmm. Actually, let me think about this for a second. There might be some plays around this. Alright, so I actually figured out, you guys, that it can't be Arcanine 3, because the uh, high-risk high reward would have activated with the Dawn Fan 4 here. This 4 would have activated, so it has to be 1 or 2. Um... Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't get King's Rock anything. I'm just going to T-Wave this. I'm not going to T-Wave. I'm going to Thunderbolt and then I'm going to Psychic with Starmie. So let's do that. Let's do it. And hopefully we don't die to anything. Okay, it's... Don't don't King's Rock me, man. Don't crit me. Don't King's Rock me. Thank goodness. Paralyze? Okay, whatever. Maybe it'll... Could it? Could I live? Ha! <laughs> That's the King Reg Ice right there, or Queen. I don't know. Royal Royal Reg Ice. Okay. Go on. No clear favorite. Okay. No no phrase, no type yet again. I never swap, right? That'd be stupid. Never swapping. Let's just go to our next battle. Let's do this. Mr. Mime! Okay. Interesting Mr. Mime turn one. This is a little bit spooky. Psychic magically fake out reflect. Okay, so worst case scenario is trick band. Trick band Mr. Mime would fuck me up right now. I think because 
But it's most likely to just go for... Like, what if it's Mr. Mime 1? Mr. Mime 1 clicks Fake Out and then proceeds to do nothing. And I use that... So, Mr. Mime 1 is Registeel bait. We love it. Is Registeel... I mean, is, is Mime 3 also Registeel bait? Mime... Mime 2 isn't because it could Swagger Psych up. We don't like that. Mime 4 isn't because it has Fire Punch. How much damage does Mr. Mime 4 do to me, actually? That'd be kind of scary. Doesn't do enough. I, I'm, I'm just Ice Beaming this thing. I think that's the obvious play. The obvious play. So let's just see what it is. It's Trick Band! Wow. Alright, so I guess I have a... It's kind of annoying that I have a Band Reg Ice now, but... Okay. So... Does it... I can actually see why this thing's annoying. Is it gonna torment me? Is it gonna Psychic me? Do I use... So it's Mime 3. Do I use this as Registeel bait? Is an interesting question. Thunderbolt doesn't break my subs. It could torment me? What does Mime... I gotta look at... I gotta look at the AI for trick. Does it ever... Okay. So I'm making an aggressive play here. I don't want my Mime to get tormented right now. I mean, my... My Regice to get tormented and then be... And then have to click Struggle into whatever the second Pokemon is coming out and have that be its situation. Um, so my idea right now is I'm going to go into Registeel. Registeel can eat a T-Bolt behind a sub, so I can, I'm can i likely to get like some misses, and I feel like I can get a Registeel going right now, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Registeel. I like this play. Let's see if they torment. They do torment. All right. I'm fine with this. So I'm going to double team, and then I'm going to sub. The Thunderbolt does the most damage, so don't paralyze. We got double team. All right, now I'm gonna sub. Okay, they hit Thunderbolt, whatever. Oh my God, they got a paralysis. That's that's really bad, actually. Okay, they missed. Can't move. Okay. Double team. All right. Um, they could try to, they could break my sub right now. So I actually am gonna sub again. Okay, I like this play. We made a good play here. Don't paralyze. Oh my god, bro. Come on, man. I got a sub here. They hit again. Dude, please. Thank god, man. Okay, I'm double teaming here. Alright. Alright. Um, I could focus punch and then toxic. Is I guess what I could do. Yeah. Okay, nice miss. Bro, okay. Um... Nice miss. Hit. Beautiful. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna Toxic here. They hit the Thunderbolt. Did they break the sub? Of course. Of course. Okay. So I need to get another sub up. Okay. This is fine. They keep missing. I'm chilling. Oh. Oh yeah. Um, I guess I Toxic. Yep. Okay, they Toxic. Okay, so just in case they... Okay, they don't hit it. All right. Ugh, crazy scenario here. All right, I'm tormented. Here comes Kang. Uh, I'm gonna... So here comes Kang. I'm not really scared of Kang. It does suck that I'm like, I guess, tormented. And I'm paralyzed is kind of unfortunate. But I'm not really scared of anything here. Like, they could Earthquake. They can do stuff, I guess. Is there anything that they can't be? No, they can be anything here. Yeah, they can be anything here. So let's go to Kang. Let's just go to Kang 1. Focus Punch does huge damage, which we like to see. And I think I'm just going to click that. I think I got to click that. Um, so yeah, let's just click. Let's just click Focus Punch. Pretty simple play. Titan Aids Focus. Crush Claw misses. Why is it trying to Crush Claw? What set doesn't have anything to hit me? Oh, it has to be Kang 2 then, huh? Ooh. Okay, that's a little bit... Right? That's the only one with Crush Claw, so it is Kang 2. With Rest... With Rest Attract Shadow Ball Crush Claw. Okay, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna double team. Yep, it does Rest. Okay. We're chilling. Sure, double team. 
So here's what I'm actually gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna toxic so they miss again. So then and then I want to make sure that focus punch can kill this. So I think I actually I think I double team. I think I double team sub focus punches. I think I'm pretty sure that's what I do. I'm gonna double team again. Yep, they keep missing. All right. No, now I focus punch because I think focus punch always kills. Yeah, so now I focus punch because they're not gonna rest here. Unless, yeah, they go for crush claw. Do they? Do they break my sub? They do break the sub. Perhaps I should have sub there. Okay, well I guess I'm paralyzed, so I can't move anyway. So I'm gonna sub now. They're gonna crush claw again. Okay, I got my sub up. Um. I think they're gonna rest here, right? So I'm gonna double team. Yeah, okay. Good play by me. Double team. Alright. Um I'm just gonna double team again actually. Oh, I can't torment. Um well I guess I'm gonna toxic. I want them to wake up right now though. So I'm gonna that's Oh they can't oh that was stupid actually. Okay. That's toxic. Okay. And now, it doesn't really matter what I click, I guess. Double team, Crush Claw. All right, now I can Focus Punch. They hit, breaks. Let's not get fully paralyzed. Bro, again? They're gonna probably rest, right? No, they don't. Hit. All right, so Registeel is close to 1v1-ing everything. Here comes Shift 3, Asmon, can't do a thing. Really terrible. This Registeel, I'm so glad I drafted Registeel over that Venusaur. Holy crap. This Registeel is an MVP right now. Um, so Leech Seed, Dig, Double Team, Rest would be... It's beatable. So I'm actually just gonna... Wait, I can actually just go for a Focus Punch and kill this, can't I? That's kind of funny. Right? The shift do I kill focus with focus punch? Okay, I actually don't kill. That's only shift three. Yeah, I'm just gonna toxic it. They got misses. Alright. And now I'm just gonna focus punch. I don't think there's anything wrong with this. They miss. Bonk. Goodbye. Alright. Alright, we're moving on. What do we want? Run six? Psychic type? Slow and steady. Okay. Let's uh, think about this. Psychic type slow and steady is... Psychic type slow and steady is... Yeah, so... Psychic type slow and steady is scary. I could consider going boom shiftry, because it is a booming shiftry. Which resists... I just don't think I need it. I think my team is fine. And so, I'm gonna keep it. Psychic type, slow and steady. Let's see. Alakazam, turn one. Okay. So we actually know that it can't be Alakazam 3. It's going to be Alakazam 1, 2, or 4. Two of them have Fire Punch, which is hella scary. Um, do I kill it with Ice Beam? I, I doubt it, but I hope. But Fire Punch does absolutely nothing to my Reg Ice. That's so funny. Let's hope it's not the Calm Mind. It's likely to be one or two, so it could be Calm Mind. Yeah, let's hope it's not Calm Mind, but either way, we're definitely just going to click Ice Beam here. I don't see a different play at all, so we're just going to Ice Beam. Okay, it is Calm Mind Zam. That's fine. Get a freeze, maybe? Something cute? Okay. So it's gonna try to recover now, so it's Alakazam 2, right? What does Alakazam 2 have as an item? It has Lumberry. It's probably- it's at plus one right now, which is a lot of damage. But plus one's for death. Ice Beam does more than recover. I am safe to just Ice Beam again. Hopefully they try to Calm Mind again. That would be sick. Okay, they do Psychic. Okay, that's some damage. Thankfully Clear Body means no Spadef drops. Alright, we're up. We're up. Oh my god, it's Blissey. Okay, let... I'm going to pause because Blissey is scary as hell. So what I'm seeing right now is that Blissey 1 and 2 are overwhelmingly likely because 
First off, let me save this just in case because I see my mouse moving. So Alakazam was Alakazam 2 with only one slow and steady move. This was slow and steady, right? Yeah, slow and steady. So it's likely going to be... There has to be a psychic type in the back, but it's likely going to be one of these blissies with the two slow and steady moves because, yeah, there are some... There are a good amount of psychics with slow and steady moves. Like, it's definitely, like, a thing. But not a lot of them have two. You have, like... You have a Latias. Uh, you know, I know you can't see. You have a Latias. You have a Starmie that has two of them. You have an Exeggutor that has two of them. You have a Jinx that has two of them. But overwhelmingly, all of the like all of these other mons are technically more likely. So very low chance that it's Blissey three or four. If it's Blissey one with Toxic double team, Sing soft boiled, I can stall it out with Red Ice. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, I stall it out with Red Ice, and I can I can actually just if it's if it's Blissey one, I can actually switch stall between. Reg Ice and well I, I can I can actually just go Reggie Steel and just Yeah. I could go Reggie Steel and then back to Reg Ice, Reggie Steel, back to Reg Ice. I can actually I can actually just I could switch stall both of them. Because yeah, even if, if it sinks, it's Blissey 2 that I would be a little bit afraid of, I guess. But even then it's not like the worst thing ever because What am I afraid of? So if it is Blissey 3 though, and it clicks Calm Mind, then we have a problem because then it's likely to Fire Blast. So I think I actually just switch just in case it's Blissey 3, right? Or do I actually weirdly go, do I weirdly, do I weirdly go Starmie? Starmie is an interesting middle ground. If it's any of these sets on Starmie, my Starmie has Natural Cure. So I can switch out if it got sung or toxic. Fire Blaster Blizzard. So then what I would do if it's that Calm Mindset, what I would do is I would... Would I T-Wave it or would I just Confuse Ray it? I think I would T-Wave it. I would Confuse Ray it. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I'm actually going to go this weird middle ground. And I'm actually just going to go Starmie. I think that's my weird play. And I think I like this play and I think I'm going to make this play. So let's do it. Let's just see what happens. We will know what their set is, what they click turn one. Pretty much. Wow, it is Calm Mind. That's scary as hell. <gasps> oh my god, it's Calm Mind Blissey. Okay, 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 okay. Let me think about this real quick. Alright, you guys. So it's crazy this is Calm Mind Blissey because that means it is guaranteed one of these mons in the back. These are the only mons that complete the phrase of slow and steady and don't complete another phrase these are all of the mons that do that and if you've noticed red ice absolutely bodies every single one with thunderbolt ice beam thunderbolt thunderbolt ice beam ice beam so red ice destroys them so here's what i'm actually gonna do because this blissey is calm mind calm mind or softball and stuff like that all I have to do is I go out into Reggie Steel, I toxic it, securing the victory, and then I go back into Starmie and just recover spam. And I'm not scared of any of these clicking double team or doing anything funky. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. None of these can do anything to me that I can't win versus if Starmie is in. So that's that's my genius play, and that's the play that I'm going to make. There's no way Blissey clicks the move here. And also, not only that, but I'm faster than any Blissey here. Blissey 4 or Blissey 3, I'm faster than. So even if I miss the Toxic, I can I can just click it again. So that's what I'm going to do. That's the genius play you're making. Because I'm amazing at Battle Factory. Calm Mind again. Sure, I don't care. Toxic hit. Nice. Beautiful. Fire Blast. Worst case scenario, sure. I don't even care that it crit. Genuinely don't even care that it crit. This is actually fine. So, it's act well, it's a little bit scary actually, because technically, well, what happens if I go to Starmie here? I go to, I definitely go to Starmie here. Starmie one on a plus two fire blast. Let's see, this is this is the fire blast. Yeah. 
Okay, so Starmie's fine. Starmie's fine. And I just recover on this thing a lot. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I can save the Registeel. Do I ever need the Registeel? No. But I'm gonna save the Registeel. Theoretically, should I? I actually should just stay in and let this die, huh? Yeah, and I click Focus Punch. In case they, like, miss. Yeah, that's what I do. I just... Right? Or do I... No. Because in case I get frozen or something crazy, I'm gonna need Registeel to pivot in. So actually, I do go into Starmie here. Nice miss. All right. Now I'm gonna Confuse Ray them because I want them to hit as least as possible. Confuse Ray. Calm Mind, whatever. Um, I guess technically it's opted. We'll just Psychic here. Soft boiled, whatever, I don't care. Toxic is slowly chipping at it. We're gonna keep psychicking. Hurt itself in confusion. So I wonder if technically I should confuse Ray on something in the back. I guess it doesn't really matter. Like just in case. Okay. It gets the soft boiled up, but it's too late, Blizzard. You're slowly dying to this toxic. Just gonna confuse Ray. Snapped out, soft boiled, sure. Just gonna confuse Ray again, doesn't matter. It's taking way too much. And if it hits itself a confusion here, it drops. Wow, it's just, it's keep get, it keeps getting the soft boils off. Blissey's really trying her hardest, but it's over, Blissey. Blissey, let yourself die. Stop clicking soft boiled. It's over, Blissey. This is a persistent Blissey. This is a very persistent Blissey. Unfortunately, it, it has to die. Goodbye. Okay, it's Exeggutor in the back, which means it's Exeggutor 3 with Leech Seed, Giga Drain, Toxic, Explosion. I can't lose. I literally can't lose. I, I objectively cannot lose. Just gonna do this for fun, doesn't really matter. Yep. See, wave, why not? Just for funsies. What if I can 1v1 this? That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Oh, it's gonna keep Giga Draining. I just think this is funny. Paralysis? I'm just flexing on you right now, Exeggutor. I'm just flexing on you. I'm just flexing on you right now, Exeggutor. I'm so funny. <laughs> this is so funny. Can I actually 1v1 this? Yeah, I think I literally can now. Should be out of Giga Drains now. Toxic? Sure, I don't care. It's gonna psychic it down. This is funny to me. Leech Seed. Uh oh. It doesn't matter. I I'm obviously going Red Ice here. This does not matter one bit. Does not matter one bit. You know, it's, this is also nice that we have the, um... I don't even know. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter if I die here. Oh, Pog, I can Psychic again. Alright. Let's go out into Reg Ice and claim the victory on Battle 6. Goodbye. Alright. Let's see what we have. Water type? Ooh, that's a little scary. So we have a water type trainer guaranteed. Water type. No phrase. Do I ever want to switch here? Do I ever want to swap Starmie for something like Calm Mind Alakazam? This is interesting. This is an interesting choice, actually. I'm actually going to think about this. First, I'm going to pause. Okay, so I did consider swapping my Starmie, because this is a water type trainer. I could swap for Calm Mind Alakazam. I could try to set up on a water type by just Calm Mind Recovering, which seems pretty solid. But like, I'm seeing that Regice is so solid versus all of these mods. And I think that like, maybe you could argue that Alakazam does better, but I just like that Starmie can confuse Ray on some of these 
That's my main premise here. I do have to be afraid of Whale Lord, though. Whale Lord is admittedly ultra terrifying here. Um, yeah, that cursed Whale Lord is actually pretty terrifying. Um, do I rethink this now? Do I go the Zam? Hold on. I'm rethinking this again now, lol. So I've been thinking about this for a while still. Um, the only mons that I'd be really devastated to see are Amnesia Waylord, um, Amnesia Whiskash. Those mons would like destroy me. I wouldn't. I don't think I'd have anything for them, which would suck. But I think I can win. And like, I just I want to keep starving just because I I kind of want to go exec. If I had a fire resist, I would go Executor. But I just don't want to lose to a last mon fire type. That just scares me so much. That like, it just it incredibly scares me. And I just don't think I can risk it. Um, or like a last mon fighting type. Starmie is much better versus that than Exeggutor. Has better defensive qualities than Zam. Um, I can Confuse Ray stuff even. I can Psychic Drive stuff. Okay, so we're not swapping. Let's go. This is... this is... Battle 7 of the streak. The opposing Pokemon have 6 IVs. It's a little bit more difficult. Water types, let's get it. Golduck. We love seeing Golduck. Because Golduck is poopy pants. We love this. Like, I, I absolutely love this. This is amazing. Okay, Golduck. No, come on, let me search. Golduck. <laughs> I mean, I guess two gold ducks have all gold ducks have cross chop, which is, I guess, a bit annoying. But do they do even much damage with cross chop? They actually kind of do, don't they? Gold duck two can do a lot of damage with cross chop. Gold duck three can do a lot of damage with cross chop. Is this a moment where I go Starmie and I psychic up and I and I just go Starmie on this? I think this might be a time where I go Starmie one. Yeah, I just go Starmie one. I don't need to risk my Regice this hard. I know that's crazy, but I just don't want to get cross chop crit when I don't have to. So I'm going Starmie. Crazy play, maybe, but I'm going Starmie. Starmie time. It is cross chop. Beautiful. Beautiful play by me. Um. So could I? Does it matter? I'm gonna psychic twice. That's obviously my play every time. Or is it to Confuse Ray it? No, I think I just Psychic here, pretty simply. I'm just gonna Psychic. Oh, it's Aerial Ace. How did it outspeed? It's faster than me? Oh, it's that max speed one. Okay. So I, I like recovering here. Even if they're faster, I like recovering here. Surf. Ooh, could they kill here with a crit? No. 69. Nice. LOL. LOL. Um, do I T-Wave here and then recover? No, I'm likely to not take that much damage. I'm going to Psychic. Surf, let's not get a Scope Lens crit. Nice. Alright, Starmie finishes it off. Beautiful. See what's in the back. Did they bring out their non- Latios! Of all the mons in the world, it has to be a Latios? God, they're making me work for it. Okay, buddy. Alright. Holy crap, okay, well, that means that it can't be Slowking in the back. Um, nor can it be Kingdra in the back. Can't be Slowbro, Slowking, or Kingdra in the back, so that's actually pretty okay for us. It does make Waylord and Whiskash more likely, though, which is spooky. This Gold Duck is Gold Duck 4, so it's Scope Lens, so it can't be a Scope Lens Latios. That doesn't really matter here. Um... I don't see any reason why I don't just go... I mean, like, why wouldn't I just go Regice here, right? I mean, I want to be healthy. So, I kind of want to T-Wave. I kind of want to... Because I know there's a water type in the back. So, actually, wait, don't I just go... Actually, actually, I'm silly. My play is Registeel here. I go Registeel. I forgot I had a Registeel. Overfocused. I go Registeel here. There's no reason for me to not go Registeel here and just, like, do my thing. Reggie's still time. 
Thunderbolt. No, para. Oh, of course you get a paralysis. That's annoying. <laughs> okay. Toxic. Thunderbolting again. Nice. We hit. Beautiful. It's Lumberry. Not beautiful. Okay. Um. I want to hit this Toxic. It's going to keep Thunderbolting. Oh my god, bro. Hit something, man. Ugh. Do I need this toxic now? Does it really- Oh my god, I can't move! Okay, I need to save this because this- Yeah, I need to save this. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sack the Starmie. God, what a stupid play on me, I guess. I mean, like... I didn't- I just didn't think it was gonna hit that many, man. Um... I need Registeel to be able to toxic on... Do I need it to toxic on anything, actually? Yeah, on a Milotic. Milotic could just beat me. So I do need a Toxic on a Milotic. That's scary. I need. I want to. Yeah, I need Toxic on this actually. And Regice should just kill this, right? Regice kills every single Latios that is. Like Latios, Lum, T Bolt, Lum. Yeah, let's just go Latios one. Thunderbolt does nothing. D Claw does a good amount. Sure. Yeah, I might, do I, I might need, uh, do I really sack Starmie here? No, I don't. I'm going Red Ice. Don't do anything stupid. Okay. Psychic, whatever. Vadios drops. How did it not drop? Oh, wow, it doesn't kill. Okay. It's okay, because I have... Is my Starmie faster than this? Oh, it's faster. <laughs> so here's what I'm actually going to do. I'm going to rest. No crit, please. Resto Chesto. That's a full health red dice right there. And then I'm going to go Starmie. Yeah, I'm going to shift Starmie on the Psychic. I'm going to live. I'm going to kill it with Psychic, right? I'm not seeing anything wrong. Yeah, right? Hold on. Maybe I should slow down a bit. Slow down. No, I don't need to slow down. I'm chilling. Okay. Okay. We're shifting to Starmie. Don't Thunderbolt. Psychic. Okay. I Psychic myself. There goes Latios. Okay, let's see what's in the back. Give us a Tentacruel or something silly. Dugong, that is scary. That's scary. This could technically just like beat win the game. Technically. Oh, it can't be sheer cold. Dugong, but it can be Horn Drill Sheer Gold Dugong. Horn Drill Sheer Cold Dugong. Um, well, my play is definitely just to Psychic the Dugong, right? If it's Dugong 3, I just Psychic it so that Thunderbolt can kill, right? I think that's my play. I go Reg Ice, and then I can Thunderbolt it. Yeah, that's my play. Alright. That's the play we're gonna make. That's my play. Psychic, how much damage? Not bad damage, let's see what it does. Sheer Cold gets it. That's okay. Okay. I guess I, hmm. Technically I can focus punch actually, but I don't think I do that. Is my faster? Okay, it's Dugong 3. Oh, so I just gotta dodge an Oko move. Oh, that's so scary. <laughs> oh my god, I'm an Oko move away from losing. Oh my god, it's so scary. Oh my god. Alright, you guys. I literally just gotta hit. They cannot hit the Oko move. And I beat them. 
Oh, yes. Oh, thank God it missed. Goodbye, Dugong. Hello, Victory. And that's it, you guys. That's round 16. Round 16 is done. Eight more battles. All right. No. All right. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next video, even though this is just going to be a series. Holy crap. Whew. Let's actually get the... Let's actually look at it. Oh, that looks good. Let's go. All right. Peace out.